All right, everybody. Peace, light, abundance, blessings, manifestations. How y'all feeling out there? It's KIP. You're here with Smarter by Nature TV. And today, we are planting some root crops. All right, so pretty much, it's been a little bit more moist, more water coming through the farm lately uh, in the past few days. And we want to capitalize on that by planting some sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. I hope y'all do too. If y'all don't, y'all tripping. Basically, we want to also plant some peanuts in the ground to get some nitrogen going. I love nitrogen. I say that all the time. But the point is, this week, we're coming into the new moon. We're approaching the waning crescent. And we want to go by the moon cycles in terms of our planting or use it as a guide for us. So they say that when this, when the moon is gone and it's mostly darkness in the sky, that that is the time that you want to plant your root crops versus your above ground vegetables. I got my commas in my hand, y'all. But that's the perfect time to plant root crops. The reason being is because that is the time where the water is lowest. It's not being pulled by the moon. It, so it's lowest in our soil. And the root crops, they are able to survive with a less amount of water because it's more coolant in the soil. They're, they're able to survive a little bit easier than the above ground plants. That's the logic behind it. I just got on it and it seems pretty cool. Um, it's in the farmer's almanac and I'm trying to learn more about what the farmers before me learn about what our elders, the almanac, learn about what our elder agriculturalists were doing. So i am been investigating a little bit about the moon cycles. Not a lot, I'm still learning, but today we're putting that into practice. We're approaching an Aries moon. So that's uh, what they call a killing moon. And they say that you shouldn't plant at that time. So we're gonna hurry up. We're gonna get our root crops in the ground today and we're gonna see how that goes. So by root crops, I mean, again, our sweet potato and our peanuts. Two of my favorite plants, vegetables. All right, everyone, so we're planting our sweet potatoes right now. No, we're not. So we're making our holes right now. And here it is. We're using this uh, little doohickey that we got from Tractor Supply. Really, it's a fence post. Well, we're gonna do an electric fence, but we're not doing that no more. We're gonna talk about that later. But we using this right now to mark the holes six inches deep for our sweet potato. So Angelique is over here. Say what's up, Angelique. What's up? So we got this right here and we just uh, planted it. So, so these are the three beds that we're gonna be planting in. We have a hundred slips over here, which we purchased from Johnny Seeds. Shout out to Johnny Seeds. So we purchased 100 sweet potato slips. And what we're gonna do is use this like so to mark our holes. This little metal piece happens to be about six inches. So this says 12 feet apart. We're gonna do about two feet apart and plant a leguminous crop in the middle. Y'all find out. See if y'all can guess what kind of leguminous crop we're gonna do. And it's not gonna be peanuts. So we just put it in the ground like that. Then we go about another foot. All right, y'all, so we're gonna continue doing that for the rest of the way. And then we're gonna lay down our sweet potatoes into the ground. And that's how we doing it, y'all. So now we're just laying that carbon down, making sure we retain that moisture after we water. Kind of get it nice in there. The sweet potato will come up through the ground eventually. 
All right, everybody. So this is the result of today's work. We got some planting done. We got to put in our sweet potatoes, our peanuts. We got the water. It's pretty, feels blessed out here. We're just glad to be here. Glad to be able to put those plants into the ground. What's gonna happen is it's funny because we covered the ground of a ground cover. The ground cover is actually sweet potatoes. Peanuts are also a ground cover, but we wanted to put the hay down in order to provide that uh, moisture retention, give them a jump start as they plant. So we're pretty much gonna chill for today. We watering some plants, some trees, watering some citrus trees and some hibiscus that we planted uh, recently. And um, we're gonna probably weed a little bit more around here. It's nothing super crazy. This side is what we're gonna cultivate this coming volunteer day. Um, we're gonna get out here and cultivate this space and kind of finish up like a whole square vibe out here. So then the last place will be there. So we got all the way over there and all the way back here that'll be cultivated. They really are two plots that are aside from each other or opposite sides from each other. I'm proud of our work thus far, but the work continues. We're not even done yet, y'all. We just started. Y'all just tuning in to Smarter by Desha TV. We got a lot of things in store for y'all. A lot of more ground covers, a lot more perennial plants, a lot more flowers, and a lot more bees. So y'all stay blessed out there. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. And as always, thank you for being smarter by nature.